Hi guys, I'm going to take you through this dresser and nightstand flip. This is what we started with. I got them from Goodwill. The tall dresser was $35 and the little nightstand here was $5.50. Um, my mother actually picked these up while I was working and I did not know that there was so much water damage on the top, which is what I'm pointing at. So I was going to hack away at it to see if I could just get the swollen parts off and repair it or even replace that panel with a plywood board. But the more I tried to get into it, uh, the, the non-swollen part was really difficult to get up. So in the end, I decided to just take the entire top of the nightstand off and replace it. Ta-da! So this is what I did. I just unscrewed um, all of the screws that were holding the top on. And then I went and I got a new piece of wood cut to the right size and put it back on. So after getting the top off, we went to Lowe's and found these uh, pre-cut glue together wood sheets and I went through the stack to find the best one that didn't have too many dings or damage or splits and I got it cut down to the right size so that I can put it back on the nightstand and it was only ten dollars so it's not bad. So this is that little wood sheet that I got from Lowe's and I needed to sand down the edges as they were a little rough. And I went in with my sander afterwards and I shaped the corners to match the dresser. So here is the process of gluing that sheet back on top. I used Gorilla Glue and lined the edges and then I took my sanded board and lined it up. I made sure to measure multiple times the space between the front and the back so that the hangover was equal. Then after that, we applied pressure to the top while I reinserted the screws. And then I made sure to place a lot of pressure on the top for several hours while the Gorilla Glue dried so that I could make sure it was absolutely secure with the screws and the glue. Honestly, I just flipped it over for the night. So that the dresser would match the nightstand now that I had replaced the top, I went back, well, this is my mother and I, we went back with Dixie Mud and filled in that line all the way around. And there was actually a ton of damage, scrapes and dings on this dresser. So we got a little carried away with wood filling, but there was a good chunk out of the foot here. So I used quick wood, a uh, wood epoxy to fill it in. And I really worked on getting it to mold to the shape of the foot because this stuff dries very, very solid and it is not easy to sand down. So I try to make it as close as possible so I have less work with the sander. Like I said, there were a ton of scrapes, so we really would filled it up. One of my favorite parts about this dresser set is that it was solid wood, so I was able to completely sand down all of the drawers to their raw wood so that I could restain them um, a lighter, prettier stain, because the stain that was on it was just very heavy and hid a lot of the wood grain in it, and it had such a unique, pretty pattern. I really wanted to show that off. And as always, I started with an 80 grit sandpaper, worked 120 to 180 and then 220 for a smooth finish for staining. For the stain, I chose to use Dixie Belle's No Pain Gel Stain in the shade of Walnut. I really love this stain because all you have to do is take a cloth, rub it on the wood, and that's it. The gel doesn't require you to wipe back a ton. There's not a lot of excess and the wood always absorbs it really well. Here 
here. I'm just showing that the top is secured, the glue dried, and the screws held when I tugged on it. Then coming up, I'm showing the picture after I sanded the edges down to match the rounded edge of the tall dressers. After sanding down that first layer of wood filler, I realized there were a lot of scratches that still needed a bit more, so I went back and wood filled again and sanded. Then I primed both of the pieces and I used Kills 2 water-based primer. So for the first time, I used Amy Howard's One Step Paint and it was Lady Singing the Blues. It was supposed to be her navy. It ended up being kind of bluey, but with a few layers, it started to turn navy-ish. Because this was my first time using this paint, there was a bit of a learning curve. I thought you were not supposed to use water, but turns out you're supposed to use quite a bit of water to get that smooth finish. This paint has a built-in top coat, so it does dry fairly quickly, and you can easily mess up the paint by going over it too much and overworking it. I did two to three coats of this paint for full coverage. And there you have it all finished. I was able to sell this set for $325, so a pretty good profit there. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. I always love feedback. And head on over to Instagram to follow me there for daily updates. Thanks for watching.